براہ راست آپ کو ہم دکھا رہے ہیں وزیر اعظم عمران خان ترک صدر کے ساتھ اس وقت مشترکہ پریس کانٹرنس کر رہے ہیں انکرہ کے براہ راست مناظر آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں Aramızda siyasi, askeri, ekonomik, ticari, kültürel, özellikle de FETÖ denilen terör örgütüne yönelik Pakistan'ın yüksek mahkemesinin aldığı karara karşı memnuniyetimizi kendilerine ifade ettik. Çünkü... significant figure in cricket and he is an athlete that embraced many triumphs on behalf of his country during many decades and he is the captain of his new team now and he is still known by the name as captain and I used to be the captain of the football team that I used to play when I was young and we I used to go by the name captain way back. and of course later in, there will be there was interdelegation meetings military economic cultural political and especially the terror organization called FETO Pakistan's Supreme Court. Türkiye ve Pakistan dostluk bağlarının kökleri malum tarihe uzanan iki kardeş ülkedir. Bu kardeşlik en kritik zamanlarda milli davalara verilen destekle pek çok zorluğun üstesinden gelmiştir. Türkiye dün olduğu gün olduğu gibi bugün de yarın da Pakistan'ın yanındadır, yanında olmaya devam edecektir. Pakistanlı kardeşlerimiz de ülkemizde güçlü dayanışma içerisindedir. Ve İslamabad'daki üç okul ve yönetim binasının vakfımıza devredilmesi bunun en güzel ifadesidir. Ben bu vesileyle yukarıda Sayın İmran Han'a şükranlarımı ifade ettim. Milletim adına da ifade ediyorum. Değerli basın mensupları bugün Sayın Başbakan'la yaptığımız görüşmelerde ilişkilerimizi He carried his country's flag from victory to victory in cricket and I believe that he will have the same success in politics and being the captain of his team he has the title of captain and of course I was the captain of my team in soccer and at the same time he is appreciative of Mevlana during his visit to Konya visiting the Mevlana uh, we followed him through the media during his visit before he came to Ankara. He visited the Prophet Mevlana's grave. The roots of the Turkish-Pakistan relationship go back to a very long time. This brotherhood is very supportive of each country's, both countries' problems. Turkey, as it was yesterday, will and today, and will continue to be with Pakistan in the future. There is a very strong support for Pakistan. 
the three schools in Pakistan and their transfer to our foundation is a very good sign of this. It's a great example. I give my thanks to Imran Khan, and on behalf of my people, I thank him. In the meetings between me and the Prime Minister, we talked about all dimensions of the relationship. The Turkish-Pakistan High Council Strategic Partnership, we expressed our wishes to hold the meeting in Islamabad, and our foreign ministry is continuing with the necessary proceedings, and hopefully we will have a date for it soon, and it will be realized. Also, another important step we are taking, what we started before, the trilateral Istanbul summit, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Turkey summit, we hope for these summits to continue where they left off. I talked about this in the meeting with Ashraf Ghani, and he expressed a positive view, and I also expressed this with my brother, and he also expressed a positive view, and hopefully, at the closest date, hopefully after the March 31st elections, we will realize this in Istanbul. Because Afghanistan, Pakistan, Turkey, this trilateral summit will help solve many of the problems facing these countries. For the bilateral commercial ties between both countries, we hope to increase this trade. Regional and international organizations, and we have always been enjoying a very strong solidarity. I would like to underline once again that our cooperation and solidarity will be pursued at further extent in the future. We have also discussed our steps, our joint steps in the field of defense industry. We have also discussed issues about the training aircrafts we have acquired from Pakistan. Similarly, we also discussed our sales to Pakistan of the Milgam vessels. We also discussed our efforts regarding attack helicopters, and we wanted to explore new ways to further collaborate. I would like to welcome my brother and his delegation once again and wish him the best of luck in his new tenure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. I want to first reiterate uh, again, because um, people of uh, Turkey would be watching this, uh, I want to say that uh, my grandfather's generation was what they did when Turkey was fight, fighting its war of independence. The support, the, the funds raised in, then in India to support the Turkish uh, gallant uh, fighting for its freedom. Uh, it was passed down from generations, from my grandfather to my father to us. Uh, and I still uh, know the pride they felt that Turkey was able to uh, fight for its independence in the 20s. So uh, the affiliation, the, the love, the connection between uh, Turkey and Pakistan has always been there. And uh, I want to stress that we want to take this relationship to a, high, a much higher level, a, a, a level that so far has not been reached. That's why I brought my economic team here, my finance minister, commerce, uh, overseas, uh, foreign minister, and, um, and planning minister. The reason why we... All the different investors, already people who've invested in Pakistan, prospective investors, potential investors, uh, and uh, we wanted to do, strengthen our bond with Turkey. Trade ties, not only just trade ties, but also 
and foreign relation in our, in our various attitude to terrorism. Uh, the notes we exchanged about uh, the mutual problems we face of, uh, of uh, security threats to our countries. So um, we wanted to enhance ties in every affair. So um, I'm very happy, my long meeting with uh, the President, that I go back knowing that uh, Pakistan and uh, Turkey will from now onwards move much closer. Uh, the areas where we discussed, as uh, Mr. President, you mentioned, the most important area for us is your experience in housing. We have a very ambitious plan to lift our economy by building five million houses in the next uh, five years. And we already know that uh, you have uh, construction companies here who have great experience in this. Uh, we, all, we know that in the last six, seven years, you have built over two million houses in Turkey. So we, we inshallah, will learn from your experience uh, because this is the first time in Pakistan such an ambitious uh, plan has been undertaken. Apart from that, <clears throat> your health, uh, the health reforms you've taken, uh, they have been, I've been astounded by the, uh, by the coverage by the, uh, the insurance coverage of your underprivileged population who all have access to quality health care, which is probably one of the most important aspects of a civilized society. So we have uh, pledged in Pakistan that we want to create Pakistan on the model of the Medina Riyasat, the first Riyasat built by a prophet, peace be upon him which was a, a, a, a state built on compassion, on justice. It was a, a state which uh, probably was the first welfare state in the history of mankind. So this is the basis we want to build what we say, the near Pakistan, the new Pakistan. And I was very interested to know that you're already on that way. You have already had uh, health care covering most of your population, and especially in the last 15 years, and also you have legal aid here for people who can't have uh, access to justice. Same thing which, which we are going to strive and do in Pakistan. Uh, and then your education reforms, they were very interesting because we want to have, we have three parallel systems of education in Pakistan. Pakistan and what we want is to have one uh, a, a core syllabus which unites our nation. So I had very interesting talks with you about inshallah how we're going to improve our education system but above all we want to have uh, uh, uh, enhance the relationship closer relationship with, uh, with turkey and uh, the issue about afghanistan people of afghanistan have been suffering for almost over three decades it's time that uh, the international community anyone who can help in bringing peace there uh, Pakistan has already been uh, helping a dialogue between the Taliban and the Indians, but it needs a much stronger effort from all the uh, stakeholders, neighbors, and uh, I look forward, forward to the summit meeting, uh, inshallah, later in Istanbul, where we hope that uh, uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Turkey will be able to help peace process, as I said, a much badly needed peace. Um, uh, you, we have uh, in Pakistan, what we talked about, our problems, problems with our neighbor India. We are trying to have uh, a dialogue, trying to move towards uh, a friendly relationship with India. We are having, we've had a standoff with India, where India refuses to talk to Pakistan under the pretext that until Pakistan stops terrorism, India will not talk to us. Uh, it's a bizarre situation where we feel that how can you pro move forward if there are no, there's no dialogue. But the basic problem with Pakistan-India is about Kashmir. Uh, and the problem with Kashmir is that there is now an indigenous movement uh, which is sick of uh, the three decades of uh, uh, trying to stop the popular, the democratic human right aspirations of the people of Kashmir. And the more force is used, the more it alienates the population of Kashmir. 
And unfortunately, this is blamed on Pakistan by India. Uh, and uh, the human rights abuse going on in Kashmir are just alienating the people. So um, we discussed that. Uh, Pakistan obviously um, you know, would, would want stability because we want economic progress. It doesn't come with st without stability. And stability will only take place when Pakistan and India sit down and resolve the differences. Um, we talked about Syria. Uh, again, people of Syria have suffered a lot. We are praying uh, that uh, uh, peace comes in Syria and the suffering of the people of Syria stops. And we are wishing uh, Turkey all the best in its endeavors, which, uh, uh, which are taking place for, for having a peaceful solution there. And of course, uh, trying to defeat ISIS. I can assure you that uh, Pakistan stands with Turkey in defeating ISIS. ISIS has already has emerged in various parts of Afghanistan. Pakistan's border areas, the tribal areas, are threatened by ISIS. Uh, but fortunately, we're very lucky that Pakistan Army and its intelligence agencies have done a magnificent job of uh, defeating terrorism. Terrorism has been vastly reduced in Pakistan, and we hope that uh, uh, with the help of uh, uh, neighbors, uh, uh, neighbors uh, Iran, Afghanistan, uh, we can, and with the help of Turkey, we hope we can uh, uh, eliminate terrorism. And I again thank you, Mr. President. I, uh, this uh, visit has been most enjoyable for us, your hospitality talks which we have. And I look forward to when you're going to come to Pakistan. Evet, ben de değerli kardeşime çok çok teşekkür ederim. I would like to thank my brother. Gerçekten bugünkü Today, whether it be the bilateral or interdelegation meetings were very positive. And after today, the meetings between our ministers and the period after this, the meetings that will be held, God willing, hopefully 2019 will be a year where Pakistan and Turkey will take important steps. I believe in this, whether it be high-level strategic council meetings or the Afghanistan-Pakistan-Turkey trilateral Istanbul summit and the steps that we're going to take within this framework are very important to me. And the meeting today, we're not going to be able to take questions since there were members of the Pakistan media. I thank every one of you. Have a great day. وزیراعظم عمران خان اور ترک صدر مشترکہ پریس کانفرنس کرے تھے وزیراعظم عمران خان کی جانب سے کہا گیا کہ پاک ترک تعلقات کو ترقی کی بلندیوں پر لے جانا چاہتے ہیں پاکستان اور ترک عوام کے درمیان نسلوں کا رشتہ ہے پاکستان کی موشی صورتحال بہتر بنانے کے لئے کوش آئے ہیں انہوں نے کہا کہ پچاس لاکھ گھروں کی تعمیر میں ترک کمپنیوں کی معاملت چاہتے ہیں ملاقات میں سیکیورٹی سے متعلق دو طرفہ تعاون کے امور پر بات چیت کی گئی ہے